All right, good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining our webinar. We're going to talk today about perfectly timed text messages. I'm Dick Lark, and I'm your host, and I'm joined today with Meredith Elger and with Megan Moser, our text specialist. They're going to be answering a couple of questions as well, too, and talking a little bit about what, we're, what works and what, uh, how to make text messaging that works for you. So the beautiful thing about text is that as you're doing this, you decide exactly when you want your message to be delivered. And if you think about in marketing, in the history of marketing for small businesses or most businesses, you could never perfectly time when your message would be delivered. You could de determine when you were going to send it, uh, but you could never really perfectly time when somebody was going to receive it. If you think about putting a postcard in the mailbox, uh, running a, a, a radio campaign, doing TV campaigns, setting emails, you could never really perfectly time when somebody was going to get your message with text. You can decide almost within the exact minute of when you want your message to go out when people should receive that or when they're going to receive it. And because text gets read so quickly, uh, your message is delivered really within the few minutes of exactly when you want it to be delivered. And that changes marketing a little bit. So that's kind of cool. It's really a lot of fun. We're going to go through some really fun examples here as we go through this. I'm going to just do a very, very quick reminder on exactly how text marketing works because as I was looking at the uh, attendees and we had several hundred people uh, uh, sign up for this webinar even though we've only got 101 seats. So if uh, you got in, congratulations. If uh, you get bounced, we'll have, we are recording this so we'll be able to show it offline as well. The way that text marketing does work is that People join a list by texting in a code. Here you're seeing Crumbs Confections. This is a sign. They're one of our customers. And uh, to, to join their program, you would send a text message to 36000, which is our number, 36000. And their code is J751. So if you send that text, J751 to 36000, you join their list. What's really cool about text marketing is that your messages only go to people that you that want to receive them. So you're not broadcasting your message out to everybody in, on earth. Uh, you're not disrupting. There are some people that want to receive your messages, some people that don't. You're only messaging out to people that want to do that. And text messaging is delivered at a precise time. And it's usually read within three minutes. And as my friend Paul Revere will tell you, that doesn't suck. <laughs> so let's look at the urgency. Urgency in messaging drives action. And what we've found is that when we help businesses be really thoughtful on their urgency, that's what gets people to take action there. So it's different than other types of messaging. It's really not branding. It's not brand building. It's all about how do we get somebody to take action now. There are other couple of ways to tag along with outside events as well and we'll totally show you a couple of really great examples of that of something that's going on outside of your business that allow you to send a message that correlates with something that's going on in life and you can deliver very close to the decision point so ideally you want to be right there when somebody is thinking about the decision to buy whatever it is that you're making it doesn't matter whether you are selling donuts or I know one of our subscribers is a guy who creates monuments he carves tombstones you know there is a decision point and you want to be in contact with people right exactly at that point. And most importantly that we're finding is to make sure that you keep testing because what works with one business will often not work for another business. Every business is unique. Even uh, members within a same franchise organization find that different types of messaging, different timing works in different marketplaces. And so we're going to go through some examples of exactly what to do. So we boil everything down into really one uh, concise slide. When should you time your messaging out? So number one is right before that customer's decision. And if you think about that, when is my customer making a decision to buy the products that I sell? What, when are they getting ready to do that? And a great example of that is one of our, one of our customers, a pizza place, one of our sales reps actually was working with a pizza place and he says, gosh, my messages aren't getting the response they used to get. And she says, you know, I'm on your list and I get your message at 5.30. And she says, I'm a single mom. I, I tell you, by 5.30, I've already made a di dinner decision. It's too late for me because if, if, you know, if I'm ordering pizza at 5.30, the kids aren't eating until 6.30. And literally, let's move this up an hour. We'll see that happen frequently, somebody changing uh, to make sure that they're right in sync with somebody's decision plans. Number two is coordinating with outside events. 
uh, and that can be weather, it could be the Super Bowl, it could be a high school football game, uh, it could be a parade or a festival, uh, a lot of different things, but really timing with what's going on in your outside world there. Or when you need action as a business owner, so a lot of times it's not driven by what the customer wants, but what you as a business owner want. And we'll show you a couple of examples of that. So a uh, little disclaimer here, the results that we're about to show you were reported by business owners who do use our system. Uh, we don't verify them. We really have no way to look inside their cash drawer and count their money for them, and they like it that way. Uh, but they do share with us, and they really have no incentive other than to help us help them, and we tend to have a very collaborative approach with the customers. We can't promise that you'll get the same results. You may do better. You may do worse, um, but you'll, your results will be your own. We're going to go through a handful of tips, and also I'm going to put this out as a PDF, so we'll send out all the slides to you so you'll have these as well offline. So number one is respecting your customer's time. And last year as an organization, we sent a little over 10 million messages for 4,000 businesses. Almost every business that we work with is locally owned and operated. We do work with a couple of big chain stores, but the vast majority are family owned businesses. And one message to me stands out as my very favorite perfectly timed message that went out here. And, and here it is on the screen. It's Hoag's IGA. Uh, and if you're not familiar with IGA, that's the Independent Grocers Association. Gas just took a big jump to $3.59 a gallon. We're at still at $3.34, and we will not go up until 3.30. Hurry in and save. So a couple of things right here. One, this is extraordinarily timely. So they sent this out just as a big jump. That's a big jump in pricing going up. Uh, but it's also a great reward for their customers. And frankly, wouldn't you just love a store that gives you advance notice like that? Because otherwise, I will tell you that I'm on a number of, of uh, gas stations uh, text lists, partly because I'm in the business. I really like seeing those messages that gas prices are going up. I hate that gas prices are going up, but I like getting a little advance notice. And I almost always take advantage of that and fill up uh, my tank on the way home. So number two, and let's, uh, let's have somebody else talk. Meredith, you want to take this one? Perfect. Yeah, so our second tip for you today is some messages can't wait. Um, we sent a couple weeks ago possibly the most important, most significant message we've ever sent, and this is exactly what it said. Missing girl, 1900 block of Willis, 11 years old, blonde, red glasses, black coat, black backpack with love and silver, contact police, and we put the phone number in there, so all the residents had to do was click on it, and they would be right on the phone with the police. Um, we sent that out, and a mobilized community found her actually within 20 minutes. She was just locked in a garage, but that's very powerful. Um, with, with her boyfriend? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just no. Out. So. no, and thankfully everything turned out just fine, but as a city, to be able to send out a mass alert um, and having residents run around and find this girl, is that's very powerful. If this was the only message they sent that year, that would be... Absolutely, yeah, really, um, really important. The city of Perry, Iowa used it. We work now with uh, several dozen communities, police stations, uh, fire departments, public service officials as well. Um, really cool. Megan, how about you? You got one for us? I do. Our third tip is deliver just before decision time, which Dick touched on a little bit before that. Um, Super Bowl morning is obviously a huge morning for when you're going to get hot wings or pizza or anything like that when you're planning on food. And our Rosati's Pizza, this is what they sent out. Super Bowl weekend special, get an 18-inch two-topping pizza, 20 wings, six breadsticks, and two liters of soda for only $29.59. Expires to three, forward on text, which is pretty amazing deal. Um, they ended up making $591.80 from that message, which is pretty incredible for a pizza place to make that in one day um, just because of a football game going on. So that's actually extremely powerful for them. Yeah, absolutely. So they knew that people were, were thinking about it. It's a great way for them to scoop in and do that. And uh, Rosati's is a really nice, uh, very nice quality uh, franchise pizza place here in the Midwest if you don't happen to be in our area. I'll take the, no the next one. Uh, the ne number four is turning a slow day into a reward. This is an interesting one. This is uh, a gas station. One of our customers, uh, Valero Gas Station, was having a very unusually slow day. Now, for a gas station, normally you'd have to just sit around and, and wait for something to happen. You just don't have that choice. So this is the Main Street Valero. 
get 15 cents off a gallon of gas between 3 and 7 p.m. when you pay cash. Forward this message on to your family and friends. A couple of things I love about this. So one is that they're not taking down their price of gas for everybody, only for people that are on this list. So their margins remain high for all the people that were going to come in and buy anyway. So they didn't have to change anything at the pump. Uh, three to seven, the owner knew they were going to be there. So they were able to watch this very, very carefully. And uh, the beautiful thing about it is the average tank of gas has about 15 gallons, maybe more if you drive a truck or something. Saving 15 cents for a tank for a car is a cost of $2.25 discount. But what's beautiful is that by paying cash, that person has to come inside the store where they're very likely to buy other stuff. Uh, they're able to connect with the owner of the store or the manager there of the store. It's a really good way to get them to, to come in and drive business. And they were very successful at driving business that day, and they continue to do little things like that as well. Our next tip, um, this pizza place, he's very smart with his text program. He's actually located right down the street from the high school football stadium. And he sent out a message just as the game was ending. It said, any large pizza, just $10.99, mention VIP text and take a dollar off. Any large pizza, now only $9.99, free delivery tonight, only call and put his phone number in there. Um, it was really smart because if you're if you're finishing up a game, you're thinking about where you're going to go or if you're hungry, what you're going to eat. And a dollar off, I mean, it's a good offer, but it's not super compelling. He sent it at just the right time, though. He had 40 people come in that night, made $450 just off of that one message. Yeah, we're talking about really hitting it ex exactly right. He sent it, I think, in the fourth quarter. So understanding, knowing that people are thinking about where are we going after the game, a uh, very, very effective way to do that. Um, the next one is give VIPs advanced reminders. Um, we had a company, it was the dog pad. Um, they take care of their best customers first, which is kind of what we always want with the VIP text club. And they sent out a message, we're already booking up for the holidays. VIPs get $5 off for the Thanksgiving holiday with this text, must book three nights and forward on. And they also include their phone number in there, um, which is pretty amazing. They were able to get eight bookings of three nights for 936 making them 936 dollars um i know that when it comes to booking holidays and everything the pet is always the first priority but the last thing you remember to do so being able to get that reminder out there so that they could get their vips a special offer is pretty awesome yeah absolutely and it's really a nice way for them to fill up and by by talking about limited availability it's a really neat way to be able to send that message on by putting their full phone number in there and just a quick tip, always put your full 10-digit phone number in your text messages because when you send it, uh, most smartphones will make that active where you can just click dial it. Uh, and that's something that you can't do if you only put in the seven-digit number. Another advanced reminder uh, that we did, this is interesting. This is for a heating and air conditioning company. And they're a little bit tricky because, uh, you know, people often don't think about getting their heating or air conditioning worked on until they are having an issue or they're doing something like that. FSM Comfort, holidays are coming. Mention this text to get your furnace tune up for only $89. It's regular $119, expires 1112. Here's our full 10 digit phone number. So, a couple things that are really important here, I think, takeaways. One is they establish the price of what a regular tune up is because if you'd asked me how much a furnace tune up is, I would have no idea. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it's good to know how much money we're saving here. Um, What's really interesting is they had a teeny tiny list, six people on a list. And uh, when I see a list of six people, I think mom, Uncle Bob, my uh, secretary. <laughs> um, but by sending that out, the people on the list forwarded that in. They actually had 18 redemptions for that and made a total of $1,602 from that one message that went out. So I think the takeaway here is to make sure even if you've got a very, very small list, it's the right people that you're messaging to, and then it grows. And I. I believe their list went up to about 26 right after that message uh, when they were finished there. Our next tip is New Year's resolution. Sending out a message at just the right time when people are thinking about that. And a popular one is, of course, to quit smoking. Uh, we had a Shell Stop 24 Mart they sent out, is your new, new Year's resolution to quit smoking? We now have electronic cigarettes to help. Stop by the store to check them out. Um, no discounts, no prices, but they had three people come in and show that message, made $150 that day. Yeah, for an electronic cigarette. 
<laughs> who knew? Who? <laughs> Just chew on a taser. Uh, <laughs> feel a little faster. All right, good. Our next tip is to turn an event into a reason. Um, turning election day into sales is actually pretty huge. Generally speaking, election day is not a very big sales day. Um, so many people are distracted with making a very huge decision of who's going to be the next president. So naturally, um, but we did have one company, they, it was Britches and Bloomers. They said, show us your I voted sticker today and receive 25% off one full price item forward to friends. Basically turning an event, obviously, into the I voted sticker. Um, they had 10 people redeem the offer, making them $1,500. So that was a really simple way to turn election day, which is generally slow, into a very huge profit day for them. Yeah, it's, it's, really, it's really a fun way to get people uh, coming in. Oh, this is my favorite. Oh, so I love this, the, the oops message. And that is when you make a mistake or you've got an item that needs to move, my mistake, you win. We see huge responses from these types of messages. And here's a, here's a great example, too much milk. So uh, if you're in the grocery business, you know, no matter what business you're in, your inventory has a, has a shelf life. And the longer it sits around, the worse it gets. So Main Street Market sent out this message, oops, we ordered too much milk. Show this text to get a gallon of skim milk for only a dollar. It's regular 315, forward on, valid while supplies last. Now notice this, this is for, it's, oops, we made a mistake. It's skim milk. So that's, uh, come on in here, no, stay out. Um, it's, uh, it's dollar for skim milk and uh, forward it on. So it's while supplies last. Uh, they sold out, they had 18 gallons that were two days within expiration, sold those in 10 minutes. And, you know, the people that bought them got skim milk. So they had that going for them. <laughs> so. Our next tip for you is there's no business like snow business. You know, if you've ever wondered what two feet of snow looks like. <laughs> 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 they got two feet of snow in the Northeast. Well, here's proof of picture positive of that. We have a really great little cafe down in Georgia, and they had a, a snowstorm one day. The kids got out. In of Georgia? School. In Georgia. They had an inch of snow, and the school shut down. That is a blizzard. Um, it's <laughs> it said, Lisa's Cafe, if the kids are getting out early due to snow today, bring them to Lisa's, get a free kids' meal with any adult entree purchased, forward on. Um, and the owner said they were completely swamped. He tried to start counting customers, but they just became completely overwhelmed and focused on taking care of their customers first that day. Good. Uh, absolutely overwhelmed. Very cool. We have another snow message. We do. It was another actually really great snow message. Um, it was a snow day sale at Max Muscle. For a lot of people call me that. <laughs> I don't get that for a minute. <laughs> maybe a lot, maybe last muscle. <laughs> the message said for our text club VIPs willing to brave the elements, save thirty five percent store wide until eight PM tonight. Um, which is pretty amazing. The result was two customers came in for three hundred dollars in sales and that's still pretty amazing, even though it was only two customers. That yeah, I mean, that's it. two customers is not a not a big return on 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 a message. But the cool part is, is that's during a snowstorm for a place that sells muscle uh, sports nutrition, by uh, and generating three hundred dollars in sales. The beautiful part about texting, and oh, really, you know, whether you're on our program or not, I mean, there's in our program, there's no extra cost to send more messages. So we had zero cost of sending that message out. Um, even if you're on a program that it's a pay-as-you-go, it doesn't cost a lot to get that out. And he made $300 during the middle of a snowstorm in Rockford, and, you know, what more could you ask for? Uh, number 11, public safety, urgent public safety. So there are times outside of your, your um, realm that you need to send messages out. City of Madison, this is Madison, Indiana, tornado warning for southern Jefferson County and northern Trimble County until 8.30 a.m. Take cover immediately. Uh, what's interesting is they sent this message out. And Madison itself was spared, but a little town down the road, uh, about 20 miles away, Henryville, was completely blown off the map. So uh, luckily no one was killed, but it's, it absolutely destroyed a community. This is, this is where you're able to send a message out immediately from the system. Um, and actually, you can send it out right from your mobile phone, and I use that all the time with our own messaging as well. Uh, makes a big difference there. Our next tip is customer convenience. Um, we had a jazzercise studio who sent out classes will be canceled today um, at all locations due to the weather. Please forward this message on. Um, she said she loved that this particular customer, most of her clients are moms with kids, so this is a really nice way for her to communicate when you have a very packed schedule. 
Yeah, absolutely. And, and letting people know, a lot, you know, look, sometimes it's not about making money, but it's about just being very courteous to the people that you're working with. Exactly. Our next tip is um, fill open appointments. We had Zen Wellness Spa send this message. It was any one-hour facial for $50, any one-hour massage for $50, or a 45-minute Swedish massage for with basic facial for $50. Today only, call now, and they had their phone number in there. Um, they were able to actually fill, typically they fill about four to six swat, spots per message, which is pretty amazing because it actually is able to drive business on really slow days. So he can just open the book, and if he sees some openings, then he can just send out a message. Yeah, you know what? That, that's exactly right. So this is where, you know, as a business owner, one of the most expensive things that you have is when you've got dead time. You've got downtime in your, in your uh, cycle. Uh, you've got empty, empty chairs in your salon, empty tables in your restaurant, empty bays in your car garage. Sending out a message of, a, of an offer uh, of a discount is a great way to bring people in and limiting it for just the, while supplies last or a very, very short period of time. I think one of the things that you'll notice through a lot of these messaging is that they're for just for, often for just a couple of hours or while supplies last. Um, or some salons will say, uh, we have an opening right now. Uh, we have three or four openings on our schedule this afternoon without even offering a discount. And it's just really for a convenience. So it's, always, it's not always about offering a discount. It's about communicating out to people uh, that you want to reach to. Uh, tip 15, second to the last one, is taking, getting people to take action earlier than usual. So the goal uh, that this tanning salon had, Soul Tanning, was to get the girls in their town chanting one month earlier than usual for prom. So if you can get them, instead of waiting to the last minute, uh, get them coming in earlier, you, you're going to make a lot more money. So they sent out this message from Soul Tanning, hey girls, prom's right around the corner, bring a friend and you'll both get 50% off any package purchased that day. And they ran that really for a, a two-week period. During their two-week period, they had 32 people redeem that message and generated $768 in sales for a tanning salon. You know, that is really cool because by, by getting people to move up a little bit earlier in the cycle, what it is is it's about, it's about getting them in. Once they start tanning, they want to keep tanning as well too. And so it's, uh, and then their, their friends at school are going to see them. So it's got a really good halo effect as you're doing that. And finally, the last one. Meredith, you got this one? Yep, our last one is birth announcements. This is a really fun one. We have a stable, a horse center, who sent out this message. It's from High Meadow Equine Center. It's a boy, last Poco raindrop, X, you bet I'm good, full born at 1.15 a.m. this morning, red roan and cute, stop in and visit him. What a cute little horse. <laughs> there it is. And their typical full sells for $10,000 or, or more, depending on their pedigree. Yeah, exactly right. So again, um, this is one where there are a lot of businesses that serve enthusiasts. And so most people are not, you know, kind of lackadaisical about their horse. They either are totally into it or not totally into it. So they, they're very much into it. And many businesses are like that as well. You'll see this for high-end bicycling shops, sporting goods. Uh, you'll see this for embroidery, scrapbooking. The people that are into uh, their their business, they love that type of information and that insider information to be able to do that. And so within the, the horse owners community, it, this is where you're able to communicate and make uh, different types of communication there. They also, you know, while I'm thinking about it, they sent out a message uh, when they were having really bad weather. And they just sent out a message that said, uh, just due to the inclement weather, the horses will be kept inside all day today. And they're, you know, the people that are part of that stable really appreciate that, that type of information. So let's go through a little bit of a recap on uh, when, to, when to time your messages. So number one is right before your customer's decision. So think about what is that customer going to do? When are they likely to buy from me? And how do I get just ahead of that process so that if they're deciding between two different places that I'm the one that they're talking to? Number two, coordinating with outside events. And you saw that with the weather. Uh, you saw that with high school football. You saw it with the Super Bowl. Uh, you even saw it with the foal being born. So those are the type of, types of things there. And third is when you as a business owner need action. And that can happen at a couple of different times. One is when you've got a slow day. You've got something that needs to be told, something that's happening on that way. Uh, you have inventory that is expiring and it needs to move out. And you want to be able to turn that into uh, some activity 
Or, for example, and this we didn't show this particular one, but for contractors, we work with a lot of contractors that, you know, their problem is that they spend all of their time when they're doing a job, when they're working on a project, they're so totally buried working on that project, they can't spend any time marketing or being ready for the next one. And so it's very much feast or famine. So after they're finished with a project, then they've got some downtime before the next one starts. And so quite often, we'll just help them send out messages throughout that period of time when they're working on it to make sure that they're sending that out as well, too. A couple of resources if you would like to uh, talk, you'd like to talk to somebody and have some uh, help as well, too feel free. I've got a real quick poll for you if you haven't answered this one yet. So let me just see if we'll send this here. Curious to see, whoops, okay. Uh, just a real quick question of whether or not you are, um, whether or not you are currently using text marketing uh, or if you're thinking about that. And if you would like to ask any questions, uh, feel free as well too. And we will go through those here. Okay, perfect. Good. Lots of people. Interesting as we uh, keep this going. So uh, make your vote on that uh, on that poll. We're going to close that poll in about uh, 15 seconds. So far, the no's are just barely edging out the yeses, which is good. Uh, five more seconds, and then we're going to close this poll, and we'll show you what the results are. A couple more voters. Oh, I see. Okay, great. So 75% of the team has voted. 76, 78. Okay, there's a few of you that haven't voted yet. Go ahead. Are you voting? Click it. 79, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. And we'll share the results right here. How about that? Uh, so you should be able to see the results, poll results showing that 42% said yes, 58% uh, said no. So that's great. I'm glad that people are interested to find out how do you perfectly time messages. That's great. So now what we will do is answer questions that you've got as well too. And um, wait, so one question that came in from Steve, he asked, what does forward on mean? So Meredith, what does that mean when you put that into a text message? Sure, so that's really important to always include in your text message, forward on or forward to friends, whatever um, character limit we have in the message, we'll always make sure that we put that in there. It's a really great way, like the heating and cooling FSM comfort solutions. They had six people on their list, but those six people forwarded the message on, which is why he was able to get 18 redemptions from it. Yep, absolutely. So it's really just like forwarding an email. What you wanna be able to do is pass it on to other people as well. One of the questions that came in is, um, can you upload a list of your own phone numbers? Uh, if you've got a list of people's cell phone numbers, can you upload that to send messages out to? And no, you can't. Uh, it's really tightly regulated, federal regulations on that. So people have to opt in and it's very tightly protected. And that's exactly the way you want it. You don't ever want to spam somebody uh, on text as well too. And uh, yeah, in terms of can we provide a cost, a sense of cost and complexity of setting up the text messaging? Yeah, we do it really simple, uh, and this is not a pitch fest, but uh, we'll talk about our pricing. We've and we've been doing this now for a little over 4,000 customers. We we charge a flat rate of $995 for the year, so it breaks down to $2.75 a day for unlimited messaging, full coaches, signs. Uh, and we really, when we say full coaching, we mean professionally managed. So we assign a tech specialist who is in charge of making sure that you're sending out messages and doing that. And there are, that, that way it's done uh, really simply and it's a flat rate all the way through. So uh, who do you, how do you receive, great question here, how do you, receive, how do you uh, decide who receives your text? So uh, generally what you're doing is you're building a list of subscribers. And by doing that, you're able to, um, uh, once they subscribe, you're able to send out that message to everyone on your list. Uh, so they're really deciding that they want to hear from you. And we keep it really simple. There are ways to absolutely complicate it. But uh, it's important to be able to, to keep it really simple and, and send that message out. So what you do is you invite them. We do signage and we tell people to send a text a code in and that gets you on the list. And then you send those messages out to people that want to hear from you. Uh, whoops, sorry about that. I just clicked out of there. Hang on one second here. Oh, perfect. Okay, so uh, what 
is the contract length. So we do we do one year programs on it, and uh, you know we really focus on doing annual programs because we put so much effort into uh, making sure that it absolutely works for everybody that is that is on the program. Uh, texting isn't something that you can just kind of jump in and do. Uh, jump in and jump out. It, it's something that, that builds and you have to build a list. You know, one of the things that makes it work so well is that it is work and it, it does require effort to make that. Um, so a really good question is how frequently, and this comes up all the time, frequency of messaging. You probably get those questions all the time. All the time. So talk, talk to me about what do, you, what do you say to people that want to know how frequently you send messages out? That's a really great question. Um, I think that it varies from business to business. We usually find that the magic number for text messages per week is about two per week. If you're a restaurant, retail type of business, if you are a service-based business where you're maybe heating and air conditioning, we generally say that about one a week is pretty good. Even sometimes that might be a little too much because we don't want you to send out. We always try to make sure that you're sending out the right amount of messages so that you aren't overbearing your customers because we don't want you to affect that relationship in any way. We want to keep it intact and just make sure that they that you're top of mind and not in such a maybe overburdening type of way. Yeah, I think that the, here's the thing to look at it is your message is going to be read. And so you're going to get 8 to 10 to 20 seconds of somebody's mind share. And so as long as you're sending something of very good value that they want to receive, then you don't have to worry about sending too much. The bigger issue is sending something that's boring. So if you start boring people, then that is then even once a month is going to be too much. Uh, and a great example of that is a Piggly Wiggly in Wisconsin that uh, decided to send a, sing a message every single day of the week, a grocery store. And I, I thought it was too much. I was concerned with the owner. And uh, we asked him not to. Not, we we asked him to watch it really, really closely, and uh, he said, "No, no, no. I want to send out messages. I want to help people save money." He sent out a different message every single day, so we just schedule them out a month ahead of time, and it's save. You know, get a an item in the store at a deep discount, and then you can get several cents off a gallon of gas. So between five and twenty cents off a gallon of gas at his gas pumps, and we've watched his list. And while he does have a fairly high number of uh, unsubscribes. He also, his net list growth has continued to grow week after week, and so uh, clearly he understands what his individual customers are looking for. 